every 250 race this year has pretty much come right down to the wire. The countdown clock will stop at the top of the screen when this race begins 30 minutes and two laps. Let's see if this can measure up to the standards been set so far. That's going to be Ivan Tedesco. Hot sauce, the veteran, going to grab the whole shot. A bunch of riders down in the first turn. Blake that Wharton is down on the left of your screen. That yeah. was, I guess, Swanepoel on the Yamaha was down. And there's a change for the lead. Tedesco gives up a couple of spots. KTM's 1-2, Roxon and Muscan taking over those spots from Tedesco. So Roxon in the number one spot again, Jamie. Showing him that Euro love between the two <laughs> KTM riders. That's a great start for these guys. Roxon straight, straight to the front of the pack. He knows what to do. He's had it done to him twice already. Not let these guys pass. Get out there, gun it. And there's, uh, as you're seeing, uh, Jason Anderson, he gets passed by Baggett. Our Moto One winner, Justin Barsha, stuck back in about 20th right now. His teammate, Eli Tomac, in eighth, and uh, another teammate, Will Hahn, in seventh. Wow, so the Honda boys got some work to do. Barsha and Tomac way in the back, Baggett, Getting a little bit better with the starts lately, uh, but he's also had a problem not just getting the bad start, but also not putting the pace together in the early laps. Wait a minute. Tomac is already on the scene. And no, somebody's down. down. That is Tedesco. Down and down hard. Luckily, he's got his bike there protecting him, but... Oh, man, I hope he's just shaking it, up. It looks like he was possibly stuck under the bike there. Now he digs, him way, digs his way out. Wow. Not looking good. He looked like he was favoring his right leg. So we hope Ivan's all right. Back up front. Look at Tomac not wasting time. He's gotten around his teammate Han. Now he gets around Anderson on the Rockstar Suzuki. Tomac fifth in Moto One. That's not what he wanted. He's got to be all sorts of fired up to get revenge here in the second race. Well, Tomac has been really strong in the second motos, uh, you know, especially last week where he put on one of the most incredible rides we've ever seen. But the question was, for all of our viewers that watch Moto One, is what happened? He was up to fourth, went back to fifth, and that's pretty much where he settled, when that is not at all what many of us expected out of him. Well, his ride last week in Pennsylvania was so spectacular. I think a lot of people thought he might come out here and win it. He's going to need a lot of luck to win the overall today, but he is at least close for the Moto when he's in contention. Yeah, that's right. You know, I mean, it, it's putting himself right there. He's. He's kind of the Ryan Dungey of the 250 class. He's very methodical, he takes his time, and he lets the race come to him. He can catch those leaders up because he knows this is a long race. We've got a hell of a lot of laps. He's got time to do it. So right now, he's biding his time, and he's making himself as smooth as he can on this track. Yeah, and he's got some work to do. I'm telling you, out front, Ken Roxon just laid down a 202. And by looking at the track, you would think that the lap times would be slower than in Moto One, but he is on pace with the fastest laps done here in the racing. He dropped his teammate Muscan by a couple of seconds, and Baggett, who is a third, he's back almost seven seconds. I think right now, Ken Roxon is saying, this is not happening to me for the third time in a row. I'm, he's got to be fired it. up, right? Yeah, he, mean, he's, <laughs> he's on a mission right now. He's like, okay, this is the one I'm winning. Baggett, you're not even getting close to me. Muscan. Eat my dust. Yeah, and it can't be <laughs> overlooked. Uh, we spoke about it in Moto One, but about how these riders know that they've done they've done five races in a row. This is Moto Ten in five weeks. Okay, there's a two weekend break, so quite a long time after that. This is the type of pep talk that you give your rider, and you say, okay, now's the time, Ken. Leave it all out on the track. You can rest tomorrow. You can have a piece of chocolate cake at dinner tonight, but go get this overall. Man, I think chocolate cake is enough for this kid to win today. <laughs> Whatever they told him, it is working because he is on fire right now, really hanging it out. And this is the problem that Baggett has had week in and week out. He has been digging himself some big holes. Can he dig all the way out of it and catch Roxon, who has told us before, if you get that first moto, it could really be a boost toward the rest of this championship.